Yeah, here's what I can show you right now. We just added a second ladder right here. And again, like you heard, surround and drown. Just another added water source that's coming down on all this right now, trying to prevent perhaps other things from catching fire like we saw in a live shot just earlier, perhaps maybe 15 minutes ago. Here's an animal care facility there. When we right approach this, uh, this spot, this is near 40th Street in Washington, we saw some people carrying those four-legged family members out of that animal care facility. And that came over here. So if that's no, I know that's going to be a priority for anybody who knows how to operate an animal care facility. This is what's getting darker and darker, are these plumes of smoke. And you're even seeing some white smoke over there and some active flames on what like looks to be another tank in that direction as well. These are really, really thick plumes of smoke that are stretching from around 40th Street in Washington and stretching now headed east towards 143 in that direction. This is something that's not far, too far from our office at all. And you can see how urgent it is from some of those people in the area. Earlier, we heard from uh, firefighters and they had gotten on the loudspeaker and they're asking people in the area to evacuate. And if you didn't catch our live shot from earlier, a Phoenix firefighter rolled right up while we were on the air and just told us, hey, you're filming right now at your own risk. We are still a really safe distance away, several hundred yards if that fire, they've got fire extinguishers that are going off over here. We're trying to catch Catch as much visuals and stay safe from all this as well. But it's got to be a blistering hot one for our fire crews to so think about them today and their safety. I'm going to send it back to you guys and see what else we can gather. Yeah, and we have been putting calls into the Arizona Animal Welfare League, which is nearby, and uh, we're, we're trying to get some more information from them. At this point, they're not taking calls, uh, and you could certainly understand wow. why uh, with what the situation there on the ground. want to get over to Chief Meteorologist Amber Sons now, because, Amber, one of the things we're tracking in addition to the flames is certainly the smoke and what direction the smoke is going in, the intensity yep. of that. Yeah, absolutely, and you're looking at that new video of the flames there. Just absolutely incredible. When we first saw this break out, we saw it on one of our valley cams that we used to track the weather. The smoke plume was going straight up in the air at that point. Winds were light. Since this has began, we have seen a shift in the winds and a really an increase in the winds. And now instead of this smoke plume going straight up, it is blowing straight to the east and it is low to the ground right now, impacting people in that area, impacting the folks uh, that are at the Arizona Animal Welfare League, taking those animals out, impacting anybody that's just walking down the street. And of course, our fire crews as well. Lots of thick smoke in that area with west winds right now picking up. We are expecting things to stay breezy in this area for at least the next couple of hours. Right now we have west winds at 16 miles per hour. They are expected to stay right around that until about 7 o'clock tonight, 730 and then gradually die down after sunset. But scorching hot, we hit 119 today. Uh, again, another record setting day and even now we are still at 118. Temperatures are not expected to get below 110 until after 9 o'clock tonight. So throughout the evening, as the firefighters continue to battle this blaze, it is going to be dangerously hot. It is incredibly dry, humidity less than 10%, and we've got the breezes to contend with out there now for at least the next couple of hours, Faye. Certainly challenging circumstances for all of the firefighters involved and really anyone in this neighborhood right now as we continue to watch these live pictures from near 40th Street and Washington of this pro propane storage facility absolutely going up in flames right now, despite the efforts of so many firefighters there on the scene. We want to get back out to our Ford hatchet. He's live on the ground right there. And Ford, I know earlier you were saying you could hear those propane tanks exploding. And one of the big concerns is projectiles and, and how far they may fly. Uh, and that's one of the concerns on the ground here, to be quite honest with you, Faye. We're, we're still waiting to kind of figure out and get some more information. That's been the talker for people that are here just trying to watch these flames. Is uh, Some are worried that if they stand too close, is this too close, where some of those projectiles could eventually fly? I'll tell you, we see this black smoke kind of billowing out even more and going up. You heard Amber talk about how it's blowing to the east, but there have been a couple other smaller fires just starting at that palm tree that you saw Jordan take a little bit earlier, uh, and it feels like it's still moving. There are some flames burning just beyond the canal here. Uh, and again, this is an area that is just surrounded by several businesses and, and a community college. Uh, firefighters have really been going at this nonstop, trying to get this under control. We talked to someone who said they were just 
driving home in their car running an errand. They saw the smoke and wanted to come over and check it out. Had no idea that it was at a propane tank storage facility. They said once they learned that, they wanted to get as far away as possible. But you can see that smoke from, from blocks away, and you can hear those loud booms. Again, even when you're driving in your car, you could hear them through the windows. They have slowed down a little bit since we've arrived on scene, but every couple of minutes, we are still hearing that loud bang. Uh, and again, firefighters coming at this from every angle. You've seen both ladders up trying to attack this, and we're just trying to try get some more information about those projectiles you mentioned and, and what the danger may be like. We know there are some businesses around. We Our team talked to uh, someone working at a hotel nearby. They said they have not evacuated yet. Uh, you heard Todd Keller mention earlier that those evacuations could be coming. They're still working on it. Phoenix Fire doing everything they can to get this under control. Mm.